Welcome back, folks. These are stressful times we're living in, so let's talk about something nice and relaxing. Yoga. No, not that kind of yoga. Yoga with a line over the O, which refers to a school of art in late 19th and early 20th century Japan, which used Western methods and materials to create oil paintings and other works. You see, after Japan's forced opening to the West in the mid-1800s, and the resultant Meiji Restoration, there was a lot of conflict between people who liked the West and people who didn't. There was also this whole issue of whether Japan should be ruled by a divine emperor or by some guy called a shogun. Spoiler alert, it was America which came to rule Japan. During the 1870s, especially, but also through the early 1900s, various yoga artists such as Kuroda Seiki and Fujishima Takeji facilitated a cultural exchange with the West, which had begun with Portuguese missionaries in the 1500s or something, but had been seriously hampered by the isolationist policies of the Tokugawa shogunate. The price for your glory is their suffering. Thanks to the Emperor Meiji, and more importantly, Japanese people could do Western stuff now, and so they made all these cool paintings that most white people have never seen before. Take this one for example. Looks like it was painted by some French Impressionist guy like Manet or Monet, but actually it was painted by Fujishima Takeji in 1932. The guy did spend a lot of time in France though, which probably wouldn't have been totally feasible for a Japanese person before the convention of Kanagawa in 1854. Now, this was a big deal because Japan went from an isolated insular feudal island in the 1850s to one of the world's main superpowers in the early 20th century, absolutely pwning both China and Russia in two different wars. How did that happen? And what does it have to do with America? Tune in next week to find out.